So if you look at this hole right there, you can see that's stripped inside. It's not too deep, um, but we're going to have to put a helicoil in there. And the way that's going to work, um, I'll demonstrate, but first we're going to have to drill a quarter inch because that's what's required for an M6 helicoil. And that's going to be the most difficult part because we got to drill it perfectly straight. If we go in on an angle, that won't be good at all. So let me explain what a helicoil is. Okay, so these are the parts we need to uh, do um, fix this problem. We need a quarter inch drill. And once we drill that hole, which we have to do perfectly straight, then we're going to use this top that comes with the helicoils. Okay, and then we have a special tool that comes with the heli coils, which um, you'll notice the coil here has a little tang on the end. I'll show you the other side. It's got a little tang there. You can just see it on the end there. Okay, so what ends up happening here is we screw this on, and um, we screw it on, and the end of this tool catches that little tang or whatever you want to call it something like this okay and then we take this and we screw it in to the hole that we just drilled okay and this tool has a little piece that we can turn it and we turn it slowly but straight into the hole now you'll notice that this little piece here at the end. This last piece has to be just below where the thread should be. Okay, so that last piece there should be just below the thread. Um, so normally a half turn pass. So when that edge is even with the hole, like that, for example, then we'd want to turn it a half turn more. Then we would remove the tool and we're going to be left with um, that little tang, which all we're going to do is we're going to stick this little punch inside and we're going to hit it with a hammer and it'll break off because it already has a breaking spot, which I can't show you, but right on the side there's a little tiny notch and there's a spot where it breaks off. And once that's done, then we have the thread inside that will fit the bolt. that will fit the bolt and the bolt will screw right in and you'll be able to torque it. So that's the process. It's nothing too complicated. Um, the most complicated part in my opinion is going to be drilling that straight because um, if we go on an angle or if we put the helicoil in on an angle it's not going to want to torque pretty good and it's going to make it worse. So we'll take our time on this, but once it's done, you'll have a bigger steel piece in there, which will actually make it stronger. Not that it matters, because there's nine other bolts, but um, it's going to be better than new. Okay, so unfortunately I have to put the camera to the side, because I want to make sure I drill this in straight. too fast. <sighs> okay, I think that's it. I'm going to just spray a little bit of uh, WD-40 on my tap, just a little bit, just as lubrication. Um, and this is going to be slightly difficult, isn't it? I have to go in straight in a very, very bad spot, so I can't use this tap. 
Okay, so what I've done is I, I got my tap and I got a socket, but I'm using the other side of it that usually goes into my ratchet. And then I'm using a proper fit to go in here. And that's how I'm going to have to do it. Very slowly. It shouldn't be too hard because it's aluminum. Making sure that I'm straight here. And it doesn't look so good. Looks straight now. So I think I got this. And I think I'm at the end. So gently. Take it out. And there we go. So now I'm just going to clean it out with some brake cleaner and wear safety glasses for this. There we go. Wipe that off. Looks pretty clean. And now we got to clean all down here. Because we don't want any of these chips in the engines, uh, in the uh, in the compartment there, so we'll blow all that out as well. Okay, so now we'll take our tool with the heli coil on it, and we'll try to ins screw it in straight. It's going in. I don't want to go too far. She's still out of the hole. She's got a few turns to go. Okay, she's almost at the end. I think that's she's under. So now we can. She's gone, so we can take this out and just have a little look. And she seems to be under. She 
is not sticking out. And now, what we can do is take a bolt, an M6, and she should screw in nice and perfect. Last thing we gotta do before we go is break that tab on the end. So here we go. There, it's gone. And, I don't know if it'll come out with my magnet or not. But I will again blow it out. Let's see what comes. With my glasses on, always remember wear your glasses. Now we're just going to torque them. It's between 11 to 13. There we go. Now, will this magical helicoil torque? Oh, isn't that wonderful?